got this hope chest in great condition. What about the self-confident girl? This video is sponsored by Dixie Bell Paint Company and I will be using their products for this makeover. We are going to start off with Mud Puddle, Lucky Lavender and some sea spray texture additive. Will you really need to meet her? I wanted to tone down the Lucky Lavender and give it an earthy feel. I love adding earthy feel to colors, to cold colors, like I just love to do that, I don't know why. I used Mud Puddle to do this. I mixed and added more until I got a color I was happy with. You can see the difference in color from where it started. To me, this is a huge difference. Just a little toning down can make a huge difference. At least in my head, that's how I see things. Now I added some sea spray additive to give the paint some texture. I wanted it thick, but not too thick. Just like in the middle. You can control how thick the paint gets by how much sea spray you add. And if you know me, you know I love good texturized pieces. Like, I love texture, it's so yummy. Now we can paint. As soon as I start painting, I noticed I was using the wrong brush. For a texture finish, you don't want to use Dixie Mini brush. Dixie Mini wants to leave everything smooth and nice, and for the texture, we don't want that. We want texture today. Like, give me more texture. I grabbed premium cheap brush instead. This brush will naturally leave more texture behind. You will get more texture without even trying hard. I'm just painting in every direction. Normally, you want to tap to add lots of texture. It's like adding texture on top of texture. But I want just a little bit for right now, so I'm painting in every direction. I will show you how to get into these little details in just a second. For now, just get paint everywhere for our first coat. We will have to let that coat dry and add another one. This color needed two coats for solid coverage, which is pretty amazing. Two coats and you're done. On the second coat, you're going to want to spray water to get paint into details. Paint is so thick and we're using a cheap brush, so it's really hard to get into little areas. So water will fix the problem. finish the second coat the same way, with brush strokes in every direction. 
I did go around adding extra texture to some places when I finished. Mainly the edges and details and corners. Now we can let that fully dry before we move to another step. I decided on adding a paint wash using mud puddle. To do this, we will need a cup of water and some paper towels or a cloth or anything to wipe extra paint off your piece. You want to grab some paint, then press your brush against the cup and into the water. You want to create a watery paint like this. I know there is other ways to do this, but this is my way and I love this way. To me, this is the easiest way. I put that everywhere. Then immediately wipe that down with a paper towel. This is called paint washing. It's a very easy way to, it's very an easy technique. You can remove more paint by using some water. Then I went back in with a dry brush to add some more paint in some areas. I love to focus on details and corners. Do your best, do your best to change us. We don't, we don't care. You can try, you can try to change us. It's like shading to me. I feel like this adds depth to my pieces. I washed the entire piece in mud puddle and dry brush some areas that I wanted to stand out. When I was done with all this, then it was time for some protection. I'm using clear wax to protect my piece and gray wax just for details and to add more character to this beautiful hope chest. I love to put clear wax before black wax because it makes my colored wax move much easier. When you apply this wax, it looks a little white at the beginning, but then it dries clear. Then remove any extra with a cloth. We'll
Then add grey wax everywhere you want it. I added the grey wax where I added extra mud puddle with my dry brush. creates even more character like so much character also gray and purple goes really good together so it's like you're not gonna go wrong with that I love when I look at the piece and I see a lot of texture and colors and depth and dimension it's just adorable <laughs> Here is the leg getting waxed. Sometimes, sometimes Once I had my wax on it, it was time for a little gold. We're using Moonshine Metallics this time. I went along using my finger to add some gold to some of the details. I love the effect my finger gives instead of the brush. I don't know, it looks more natural. It kind of looks more natural with a finger. But if you don't like using your finger, use a brush. Now all I had to do it was repeat the process everywhere and then I was done. What a beautiful purple shaded piece of furniture. I really love how this came out. I love purple color. I love purple with gray, I love purple with mud puddle. Um, I love purple. We got it, Katja. You got it. We got it. Like, you love purple. <laughs> what a beautiful piece of furniture, right? It has a beautiful details and a little bit of gold and a little bit of mud puddle and gray. I just really love these kind of paintings. Again, thank you Dixie Bell. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. Bye guys.
Oh, every time I do a purple piece, I sing the song Purple Rain, Purple Rain. And then it rains, and then Carlos tells me, There you go with your purple rain. 